So I got my um, last bookmark thing that I'm going to be getting from, um, I can never say the name of the place, but Bill, Bill knows how you say it. That one. <laughs> I can never pronounce the name. So, that. so I thought I would open up and show you what is in here. And then I was going to talk about the five books I'm currently reading. Yes, five books. I know. It's crazy. Five books at a time, I know. Okay, let's see. Ooh, I already see something really pretty. Okay, so each month they do like a, um, what you call it? This one came late, so this one's still August. I didn't get September's. But that was August's but it was called Fall Into. I mean, it's called Girl Power. I don't know why I'm saying. And it was just going over what was in the box and then the different things they were doing for August, but I got it late, like I was saying. And then, oh, this, oh, this is really pretty. There's power on it. How gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. I've never seen even like these. So pretty. I really like that. I might put that in one of the books I'm reading now. And we got this print. It says we can read it. These are all, of course, made by her. That's how you say the name better. And another bookmark. Her spine was still. Her heart was armor. Her eyes were fire. It's really pretty, isn't it? I like that one, too. Actually, this one or the other one were really good for Never Night. Mm. Well, we got this one. When the snow falls and the white wind blow, windy winds blow, the lone wolf dies, but the pack survives. That's really pretty. They're really pretty bookmarks. I have so many bookmarks. <laughs> but I love them. And here's another one. This one is for To Kill a Mockingbird. Until I fear I would lose it. Never love to read. One does not love not love breathing. I think that says breathing. One does not love breathing. I know it's a really bad thing to admit, but I never read To Kill a Mockingbird or Pride and Prejudice. My courage always rises with every attempt to intimidate me. Then another print. She was fire and light and ash and embers. She was Elaine, Alina, Fireheart, Eileen. I always forget how you say her name. Aelin. And she bowed for no one and nothing save the crown that was hers by blood and survival and triumph. Really pretty, isn't it? Okay, and then we got another bookmark. I am no bird and no net insure, ens, ensnares me. I am a free human being with an independent will. Really pretty. And thank you, note. Says, I hope you would love the contents of the August box. Then we got Bookworms World the World as soon as we finish this chapter. So I got two of these because I got another one that says the same thing. So I'll probably give this to my daughter. And then, oh, because I pre ordered. We got some stickers for pre-ordering.
probably give these to my daughter because she has a laptop I own right now. These are more for her. These are cute. Like I said, this is because I pre-ordered. So it's really cute. And then we got... Okay, I know. Okay, this is. I probably will keep these actually because they're Harry Potter. I didn't realize who it was at first. I'm like, huh? That's Luna. I didn't know who it was until I saw Ginny and Hermione. <laughs> Boy, Ginny. Actually, I might keep these for whenever I get get me a laptop and Hermione. How cute are these? That was very sweet of her to give us, if you pre-ordered to give you it. This is probably the last one I get for a while, just because I'm always getting, like, trying a different box each month. Right next month, I'll be trying a new box shelf. I can't remember which one I got, Shelf Lover Reads or the other one. I always forget which one's which, but one of those I got, and I'll be doing the um, a new one for that. So, yeah, you can look forward to that. But yeah, I think Luna is my favorite, and then Hermione, and then Ginny. But yeah, she did a really good, gave a lot of stuff. This was the um, $20 pack. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you got eight. Two prints, one big, one smaller one. What did I say? Six or seven bookmarks? Six bookmarks. So that's eight right there. And then for pre ordering, the three cute little stickers. So, yeah. Not bad. I definitely have to say my favorite print, I mean, not print, my favorite bookmark is definitely the power. They're all really cute. I like that one. I like, um, like I said, I already had that one. And then I like this one and this one, but I like them all. Even the one, like I said, I already have. But like I said, I don't read classic books, so maybe I'll start doing that too. I'm gonna try to do different things like I used to never read mangas. Now I'm doing that, so maybe I'll try to read. I don't know if I'll do it this year. We'll see. But maybe I'll try to do a classic, a, one classic a month. We'll see. But, yeah. That is really cute. I think I got everything out. Yeah. Okay. Books I am currently reading. I'm going like. I'm weird because I'm going like through like reading like during one day. For one day, I read like pick out a couple of books and read from those, read a couple chapters and then so on. So I just started um, Emperor of Empire, Emperor, Empire, how do you say it? Of Storms. I started that last night so I'm only on page 29 and it's already interesting. I can't wait until my favorite, which is Dorian, shows up. But yeah. I'm going to take my time with this because I want to try to, I want to have it done probably by the last week of September where I can start um, Tower of Dawn after that. And then I got, I'm reading A Gathering of Shadows for the Spence, Common Spence read along. And I am currently on, I just finished page 90. So I'm really enjoying that. It's finally talking. It's finally with Cal and um and um Rye. Rye. So yeah. So it's finally with them too, so which I I don't get me wrong, I like Lila or Lily. Lily. But I just I'm in love with Cal and Rye, so but yeah, I've been really enjoying it so far. I'm actually behind. Because I had like so many pages I wanted to read each day, but I eh, decided not to even stick with that. So I'm probably going to take all these out. As you can see, I got them right here. 
So there were supposed to be like certain dates that I wanted to have each chapter or to get to a certain page. But I think I'm just going to take that out and just read what I want each day. Because I won't be able to do the um, participate in the live stream because we'll be out of town that weekend. And then I am reading. I just started this today, Never Night. So I'm already, I'm only on page 13. But I am starting to understand it better than when I tried the audio. And you can see it very lightly. I don't know if you can tell, but I got a couple of, I think I got more than that. It's just, it's not, some of them aren't sticking out as much, but I got one. I got like three or four tabs and I'm only on page 13. So, very interesting about getting a spoiler because it happens right away about her losing her virginity and killing the first killing the first person as an assassin so I love this cover and I love Jay's writing and I am reading Shadow and Bone and I am currently on page 74 of course this is a reread but it's been a while and I'm really enjoying it I can't remember, I think last time I gave it a 5, but it was more like a 4.5, 4.25, somewhere around there. But I was being generous and actually getting, you know, just went up to 5. But I'm trying to be more critical. I'm actually thinking I'm enjoying it more. But I'm not that far in, like I said, so we'll find out how I feel at the end. Still not liking the Darkland. I know that's an unpopular opinion, but I don't know. I like some of his... Um, some of the things he says, he's really funny. So I do like his, um, sometimes his sense of humor. And the last one I am currently reading is The Last Magician. I am reading this with the author and everybody else. Because she's doing a read, she's doing a read along. Why she's waiting for the next book to come out. So I'm not very far, I'm only on page 18. But it's interesting. I really think, um, what's her name? Esta? Esta? How do you say her name? Esta? I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but I'm really liking her. She seems like she's going to be an interesting individual. And of course, I always love when they have maps. I don't know if I ever showed you guys the map of this one, but it's gorgeous. But yeah, um, but that's what I'm currently reading. I'm actually going to start another book tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to start reading some of the Harry Potter because I want to finish the Harry Potter book in the next couple weeks because then I want to watch the movie for the um, one that I can't remember who, what station it is that's doing the um, Harry Potter. Oh, I got the paper right here. Completely Melanie and I'm not sure who the other one was. Completely Melanie and you're a book nerd Zoe. Zoe. Those are the ones that are doing it. <laughs> Good thing I had the paper right there. But yeah, they're doing the Potter Watch read-along. Where they're going to, like I said, each month, they're going to read a book. Watch the movie that corresponds with that book. And then do a live stream, which the first one is going to be on Completely Melanie's um, channel. September 29th. And then the second book and the second movie when you're done with that, I'm not sure what the date is. I know that they have the schedule up, but sometime in October when the second second one, with the second book and movie, it's going to be on You're a Book Nerd Zoe, and then back and forth. So it's going to be going on for what, like seven, eight, because they're even doing The Cursed Child, which I never read and don't plan on reading The Cursed Child. I don't think you need to read it, so I'm not going to, but yeah, they're, um, they're even going to read that book and then discuss it but I don't know I don't know if I can get it from the library maybe I'll read it I don't know I'm just not really like really really big on reading it I know a lot of people didn't like it they said it was not even worth reading so yeah so like for eight so the next eight months you're gonna be doing that so like April I think that'd be eight months so yeah I'm really excited because, like I said before, I only reread the first one. 
and it was I reread that like three times because whenever I decided I was going to reread it I did and then I would get involved in another book of something else and forget to read the next one so I want to do you know, so I'm looking forward to actually rereading it and see if I still like the world I know I still like the movies especially the my favorites are the third sixth and seventh I believe but I really like the second part of seven I'm not really um, a huge first part of seven I think it's kind of boring so yeah I don't usually watch the first disc or the first movie I usually watch the second one but I think uh, my favorite is Prisoner of Akaban or Akabar or Akaban how do you say it? yeah that's probably my favorite book and probably favorite movie too and then probably the second half of the seventh movie and the set in the actually the second half of the book was my favorite part so yeah and then it would be probably the sixth book and but instead of being the sixth movie it would probably be the first movie which is weird and then and then the sixth movie sixth movie and then back to the first book um, then it's probably book five and movie five and then book two and movie two and then book four and then movie four I don't know why I didn't like the fourth book or movie as much I think it's probably just when the because of the certain person you know what happened to the certain person that starts with a certain I don't well I can't spoil it but a certain person yeah when something happened to a certain person yeah, it lost me so yeah I know a lot of people I think four and five are like their favorite I don't know about book but favorite movie so I don't know but I'm usually an oddball and like the ones that other people don't like so, but yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, I do have, um, like three books I'm going to do, a I'm going to show you that I got tomorrow. Unless I wait and do like it at the end of the week because I'm expecting a couple more books on top of the one that's coming tomorrow. I got two of them right now, but I, did, I decided I wouldn't do a haul, you know, when I have more than two. So what I might do is um do the haul show you what I got for um tomorrow with the two that I got yesterday and then the one I'm gonna get tomorrow and then when and then I'm supposed to get another one from Amazon on Friday and when that one comes I'm gonna wait until whenever I get my order from book outlet because I ordered something from book outlet like what two weeks ago a week and a half ago whenever they had their their blowout sale thingy that they, I mean, their sale that they were doing. And they had a lot of the books really cheap, so yeah. And one of the books, I don't even remember what it's, I mean, I didn't even look to see what it's about, because I wanted to try to, like, go into maybe, like, I don't know if I'll do it every month, but maybe every other month, like, pick a book out and just know nothing about it. Just look at the cover and just buy it from the cover. And then do, like, a review on, on the book and let, you know, if it, lived up to the cover to the what I thought of the cover or if it let me down so we shall see and you guys I'm gonna do my first one pretty soon because you guys know about ink I mentioned that I read ink and about the cover so I was gonna talk about and well that one's already spoiled you guys already know I didn't really care for it all that much so yeah, I think I gave it two, two and a half stars. But yeah, but I, I was going to do a book review on that and let you know why I didn't like it. But yeah, so that one will be spoilery, of course, but it won't start out spoilery. So, but yeah. And then, um, let's see. I think next week, Beacon, either next week or the week after, Beacon will be uh, sending out their regular box and their um uh, wild card box so when i get 
those two boxes. Those will be the first time two I get. I'll definitely do an unboxing of that. And like I said, I got two owl crates coming this month, the special one and the original one, and I got lit crate. And I'm not sure what I'm doing in October yet. I know that I ordered um, the uh, Enchanted Fandom special box that was for um, Kingdom of Ash. So I'll have that sometime in September. I'm not sure when. And then I'll have, um, I mean, not September, October. And I, and I got that one that I was telling you about, either Shelf Love or Shelf Lead, one or the other. I forgot what it's called. But I got that. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to get the lit crate in October because what I might because since I got that one shelf thing that's probably what I'm just gonna have but I will definitely have owl crate because I always get owl crate each month so I'll have that in October of course and I usually get um beacon because theirs is in the middle of the month that they take the money out so I so usually I get two that are the beginning of the month and one in the middle of the month Unless there's a special box and I have the money to get it. Which was the case for the three special boxes that I got. So yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. And I will catch you all later. Oh, um, before I forget. If you like the content, thumbs up and subscribe. And push the bell icon so you'll know whenever my videos go live. Or up. Whatever, you know what I mean. And if you have any comments. Let's comment below. If you want me to do something else on my channel, let me know what it might be. And I'm going to let you guys go because I want to pick up a little bit because I have someone coming over in a little bit. So, yeah. I'm going to let you guys go and I will talk to you guys all later. Lori, out.